Hi, welcome to Art with Maura Beth for older kids. So, this week we have a unusual project. It's not unusual that it's hard. It's unusual with what we're going to do with it. So, I'm going to teach you guys a simple way to make a friendship bracelet. So, friendship bracelets can be made for boys or girls. It doesn't matter. They can be made with string or yarn or just plain twine. Uh, whatever you have available will work with this project. So, let's get started. So, oh, what do I want you to do with the friendship bracelet? I forgot. The friendship bracelet, I want you to mail it to one of your friends. So, we've all been in confinement for quite some time, and we all miss our friends. So, what I want you to do with your bracelet is not just take a picture of it, which would be cool if you could post a picture of it, but I want you to stick it in an envelope and mail it to a friend. Someone that you might think is lonely, someone that you might think might need to pick me up, someone who might have a birthday coming up, something like that. So it's an extra stamp on the envelope, so two stamps instead of one, but it'll fit inside an envelope with a little note from you. Mail it to a friend, make them happy, make someone smile. That's your job, okay? So let's get started. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need seven strands of either string floss, thre uh, thread won't work, but yarn will work, it could be twine, whatever you have available. If it's all the same color, that works too. If it's all different colors, that works. I'm going to be using floss because I have a big bag of floss, but whatever you have available will work. You're also going to need a piece of cardboard. I'm using the end of the matzo box from last week. I'm sure you all have plenty of Amazon boxes that you can find a piece of cardboard from. Go ahead and grab that. You'll need a Sharpie and you will need a ruler and something that is round about that shape. It could be a little bit bigger, it could be a little bit smaller, just something round. So what you're going to do is you're going to put that in the center of your cardboard and you're going to draw your circle like that and that gives you your circle. Then you're going to take a nice pair of scissors and you're going to cut that circle out as best you can. Does it have to be perfect? Absolutely not. Doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be sort of circle-like in the end. So you're going to cut this out as quickly as you can. Once again, doesn't need to be perfect. Now comes your ruler. By the way, once this is done, you can use this over and over again to make mini bracelets. You're going to draw a line across. You're going to draw another line across. You're going to draw another line this way, and you're going to draw another line this way. Does this have to be perfect? Nope, sure doesn't. doesn't really need to be perfect, just has to be close to it. Then you're going to number these. You're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's pretty easy. Everybody can do that. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut about a half an inch in on each line. Just like that. There we go. Almost done. Once again, don't need to measure. If some are longer, some are shorter, that's life and it will all be fine. Alright, we are all cut out. And then the hard part. You ready? You're going to take your scissors and you're going to carefully poke a hole in the center of your wheel. Give it a spin so it's a nice hole. All right, now you're going to take your string, your, your uh, floss, your yarn, your twine, whatever you have, and you're going to need seven strands, not eight. Seven strands. You want them to be about two feet long. So about two feet long, seven strands. They can all be one color. They can be two different colors. They can all be different colors. They can all be the same color. It doesn't really matter. But you want them all to be about two feet long. And then you're going to take one end and put a knot in it. And then you're going to do it again. You're just going to put a knot in it. If you have problems with knots, which apparently I do today, there we go. You want it to have a pretty good size knot. And we'll do one more time. Why not? This part doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to hold. Alright, so then 
you're going to stick your knotted end through your circle. Okay, my circle isn't big enough. If you need to cut your circle a little bigger, you can. Not a big deal. However you want to do it, as long as you can get it through. There we go, perfect. Pull it through so that the knot is on the bottom and your threads are on top. Now, you're going to take your threads one at a time. You're going to take each strand and you are going to put each strand into one of your cut little slits on each side. Okay? Until you've got them all divided up. It really doesn't matter. There is no specific order to it. Alrighty, we're almost done. So eventually it's going to look two and you're gonna look like that so that's your end so your knots on the bottom it just kind of looks like a jellyfish got it all right so I've left slot number one open right so you're gonna go slot one two three you're gonna pick up that one and you're gonna put it in the empty one and then you're gonna go like that so now your empty ones there you're gonna go three strands one two three you're gonna pick it up and you're going to go there and then you're going to spin till you get the empty one in front of you go one two three pick it up and go like this now eventually what's going to happen is you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff up here okay and that's going to look bizarre so one two three if that happens grab your knot and give it a little tug and eventually you'll start to see your bracelet is being made underneath and just keep tugging it down a little bit. Go to your empty slot, go three over, one, two, three, hence why they're numbered, but I don't really. And keep going over, and you just kind of keep going around. Every once in a while, you want to go down here and turn it back into a jellyfish so they don't get all tied up, okay? Eventually, you're gonna be like, nothing's happening, but eventually what happens is your underneath part looks like this. Okay, and when it's long enough, you'll undo all the strands like that. Pretty easy. Pull it out. Put a little knot on this side. Like that. And you have a friendship bracelet that's pretty easy that you can mail off to a friend that you might think is missing you or a friend that you're missing and you never know you might get one in return alright guys once again this is going to be posted on my Facebook page this is also going to be posted on YouTube I hope you enjoy it if you could please post a picture of yourself either making the circle or making the bracelet or I'd love to see a done bracelet would be great feel free to post those for me that would be great if you're on YouTube and you want to hit my like button, awesome! And I will see you next week.